Hello I technology lovers and most important hello performance and speed lovers we got the Samsung SSD 850 EVO. So this is with the 3D NAND technology in 250 gigabytes. So this is a high speed solid state drive. So this will be the replace of Intel 520. Let's unbox it. Okay. So we have the SSD. And I have to tell you, this is very, very light compared to the Intel 520 series. So this is this uh, Evo series is aluminium, I think, for cooling. In the back, we have, I think, we'll got some support. No, we got a warranty. A disk containing the software and the software for uh, the SSD speeding the SSD. You have two modes, normal mode and turbo mode. Okay, and this is pretty much it. So now I'm interested in um, switching the SSD for this notebook. We have a review for changing the display of this notebook if you want to see it. And we want to upgrade with this Samsung Evo 850 SSD. Uh, the Intel has the um, same speeds, but we made some testing and uh, let's zoom it for you to see it. We made some testing with the AS SSD benchmark, the version 1.8 and the results are this one is the first result and then I made, if you see here in the writing, 234 megabytes. And I repeated the test and I got 145. So uh, I'm a little bit uh, concerned, but at the score at the final are not a lot of uh, difference. We'll copy the entire SSD Intel to this uh, Samsung SSD and we will see the differences between uh, these uh, two. We'll make another test and we will see if these benchmarks will be much improved than this one. Now let's talk about the specification. So we have uh, many uh, 250 gigs, uh, 120 gigs of uh, storage SSDs and we got one terabyte and two terabyte maximum on EVO SSDs from Samsung. So now uh, Samsung tell us it's up to reading the sequential read up to 540 megabytes. So now at 2.5 uh, inch SSDs and the MSATA, the writing, it's uh, something interesting. The writing, it's more advanced than the M2. The M2, uh, you know, is the special port on the new motherboards that support awesome speeds. But I don't know why this M2 is not more competitive at uh, generally at the specification. I think, I think in the testing and I saw benchmarks, uh, the M2, it's a little bit faster than uh, the standard SSD. And now I want to make a copy to uh, 6 gigabytes of uh, M2 TS, a video file, a full HD video file. So I want to see from D to C. And it's calculating, if you see here, let's zoom it a little bit. It copies from one side to other with almost 150 megabytes per second. And it's uh, some kind of, and it's very stable. So let me explain a little bit. Here is uh, one SSD in two partitions. Here is the other Intel 520 SSD. And here is the Samsung Evo 850. Ignore this, this is a hard drive. So uh, all the SSDs have uh, two volumes. So now 
we have made testings let me show you as independent this is for the intel and these cores are for the intel uh, ssd so i observe if i rerun the test once more in this benchmark the results are not the same for example here is uh, the first test and then i re-clicked start and the results are a little bit uh, lower it's not by much but it's a little bit uh, different okay so now this is the independent 520 the independent from the system so it's a little bit different from this as you observe this is the with the system with the windows installed and this is without the windows it's independent benchmark and this is the samsung also independent from the windows system and i have to admit the score it's much much improved and i'm impressed in this access time in this access time real real uh, low the access time is real low and now we'll do something interesting a test uh, we'll copy from the windows ssd to the non-independent uh, ssd so it's a large file of six gigs from a drive to other and paste start timer so it's from intel 520 to the other independent intel 520 so we get lousy okay 19 seconds for the full hd format in 6.5 gigs okay let's repeat the test with the samsung reset and paste my god it's seven only seven seconds took from difference from uh, the that 90 seconds to from intel to intel this from intel to samsung only seven seconds it took i'm really impressed so guys if we obtain uh, at this benchmarks performance with samsung ssds uh, besides this intel samsung doesn't stop here so samsung made uh, at the samsung let me show you magician where is it the rapid mode so i enabled i enabled here this is this i enabled rapid mode it's enabled so uh i obtained this benchmarks and check this out this is crazy it doubled it tripled the speed but look at the score is four times quicker in this rapid mode this is insane it's really insane um and i did a second test <laughs> i even obtained a, a bigger score i don't know how relevant uh, this data it is but to make it relevant let's paste that uh, uh, file test from a drive to from d drive to c drive this rapid mode oscillates but it uh, catches pretty performance speeds of uh, writing so at uh, 400 megabytes per second it's pretty awesome i'm really impressed because uh, it uh, auto boosts the ssd performance and rises uh, the speed now we have made some testing with uh, this rapid mode enabled so we obtained uh, we used a file in 6.54 gigs so uh, this file we copied from to from a drive to other drive and uh, the difference between the rapid mode and normal mode is only four or five seconds so in rapid mode we managed to achieve 29 seconds and in normal mode 34 seconds so it's not much it's not lying but uh, i think it's overreacting uh, saying this is rapid mode and uh, you saw it the benchmarks were awesome if we believed those benchmarks uh, the capacity and the performance of the samsung ssd must 
doubled, tripled, uh, but is not quite like this. It's some uh, small boost and uh, it enhances uh, a lot the performance of the benchmarks, but in reality is not like this. So guys, with the new SSD from Samsung, let's see the results. So this one are the first results that you saw in the beginning of this review and this one are the results after mounting on this notebook this SSD. So from 617 to 1050 so it's a big difference a big performance compared to the Intel 520 so the Samsung Evo 850 it's a winner it's a very good SSD I still wondering how is the quality performance in time because uh, I saw uh, a difference in the weight in the weight of the Intel the Intel was much, much heavy double at uh, weight I think and uh, this Samsung is kind of light so I wonder in time who is better ventilated who is better quality of the components who has the biggest quality of the components but for now Samsung Samsung SSDs are the best so you have um, if you want you can purchase uh, the Samsung Pro which in the benchmarks are even uh, it's even uh, more great than the Evo more it will give you a better performance so uh, I want to show you even in the Samsung magician we have some results here we I made a free test and I activated the trim because this is Windows 8 Pro so uh, I recommend to you to activate the trim uh, Samsung magician has an option to activate the trim the trim will offer you better writing and better reading with uh, your system and Windows 8 doesn't offer trim so we have a tutorial that will show you how to make with two 5020 Intel SSDs write zero and uh, you can watch there how to activate the trim for now we are iTechnology Reviews I hope you liked this, this review uh, sorry for uh, Samsung SSD for the 850 EVO Thanks for watching guys, thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and reviews. You got to love technology because technology will make you fast. See you guys, bye.